Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I made a super fun Halloween um, gift box that I wanna show you guys today. I used Scrap Diva Designs um, newest um, release. This is the, real quick, the 3D Carousel gift box. So that's from her um, August 2023 release. So just depending on when you're watching that, um, it is from that release. I have a um, video um, down below where I, go through all the dies in the release. So if you wanna see that, um, definitely take a look. Um, this is the first thing I've made with that release. This is so super cute. Um, and this is really fun because you can use it for pretty much any time of year, uh, just depending on how what type of paper you use and how you embellish it. Um, I did mine um, Halloween themed, so I'll show you that in a second. Um, but here's Erica's social media information. You can find all of her dies here at scrapdivadesigns.com. I do have a link below. Um, if you go to her store from my link below and purchase anything i do receive a small commission so i just want to say thank you ahead of time for that if you wind up doing that it's very much appreciated um and then here is also erica's social media her instagram her youtube her tiktok uh, if you need to email her this is her email here and then um all of her design team plus erica plus a lot of others are um uh, tagging their creations at Scrap Diva, or excuse me, hashtag Scrap Diva Designs. So that's a good one to follow for inspo and also to tag yourself so that we can all see what everybody's creating. Uh, so again, uh, this is the die set. This is actually a really large one. Um, as you can see, there's two sides to this. Um, and again, it is the 3D carousel gift box. And uh, this is actually really, really easy to put together. A couple people have done a tutorial tutorial um, but basically this piece here is the bottom and then this creates the walls of the box and then the really cool thing is you have a layering piece so you can layer each um, panel of the walls this allows you to create the top of the box so it's this piece here and you would cut that out six times and then this is the layering piece um, as you can see that goes right there and then there's also a layering piece for that guy so that's this one and then this goes around the windows so once you cut this out and then you do your layering piece then you have this that goes right around there whoops sorry i'm not showing you in frame um so yeah so once you cut this out and then you cut out that layering piece which is this this one here uh, then you can layer around the window and then this piece here layers right across there. So those are pieces that you can either add or you can omit, doesn't really matter. It just depends on how much you wanna layer this up. And then this one right here allows you to create these fun little flags right there. So and you can use as many of those as you want. I wound up using two. Um, and then uh, I, I pop mine with like a little bit of foam, like a little foam dot in between. Um, just to kind of give it some dimension. But anyway, let's get started. Uh, here is the box. Oh my gosh, it's so tall. So hard to get it all in frame, but isn't this so cute? So I saw some people, of course, doing um, some design team members had already done some Halloween uh, ones. I knew I wanted to do like a past Halloween, but I also wanted to do a Maggie Holmes. Um, because of carousel, it's like perfect for this little kind of carousel box. And uh, I decided at the last minute, you know what, I'm going to do a carousel Halloween. So um, this is kind of what I imagine if Maggie Holmes were to actually come out with a Halloween collection, this is kind of what I imagine it would look like. So that's what I went with. I'm so, so happy with how this turned out. Uh, there's so much detail in this box and it's really good size. I didn't measure, but I think it's around, I think someone said around six by five, um, something like that, but um, super, super cute. I actually filled mine with just a bunch of um, little puff balls, some little pom-poms that I had in my stash. I just thought it was really cute peeking through the windows. I did put acetate on my windows. So um, you can make these into shakers. You could put things behind it kind of peeking out. 
Uh, you could fill this with so many things. It's so, so roomy, but um, I just thought it would be really cute to fill it full of all these pom-poms. Um, so I did use this really iconic figure from the Carousel Collection um, as my main like focal point um, on the front of the box. And I did layer it with one of Erica's little um, Halloween uh, flags. So that's this right here. And I'll show you really quickly that set. So this is an oldie bit of goodie, but you can make all these different flags. Um, there's ghoul, there's um, trick, treat, eek, boo, spooky, and scary. And you have a layering piece behind, and then you have this piece which allows you to make the little like flagpole. So I wound up using eek and I popped my flagpole up on foam just to give it a little bit of dimension. And I popped my little top piece of my flag on some foam before layering it um, on top of this layering piece just to give it some dimension. Um, I did use this little kitty cat and this broom and this little ghost and this right here and this little bow that was from my stash. Um, so I had been playing around with some other collections so that's where those came from. Uh, those are not Erica's um, but you can watch some of my other videos and you'll be able to see you know like how I made those and where those came from so um, but yeah really really cute and the really cool thing is once you put this um, the top together it actually has a slight tiny little hole at the very top and that allows you to put the straw um, through the top so you just any kind of paper whoops paper straw will um, fit right in there and it works best if you feed it through the bottom and kind of go up um, and then you can um, I actually glued mine in place uh, once I put it through and figured out exactly where I wanted it to um, sit in the box I glued um, the inside of the top I'll show you that in a second uh, with some hot glue just to just to hold it there so it's not going to come out and then um, I went ahead and layered on this bow, super, super cute skull bow, and the flags out of the little pom-pom and this cute little bat. And then this is a piece of ephemera here from the uh, Carousel Collection. It says, Delightful Day. I thought it was perfect um, for this little vignette I have going on. And then um, this is also from the Carousel Collection. So um, overall, I use uh, these pieces here, um, plus this one from the... Um, ephemera pack. The paper uh, here and here is carousel and also the paper on the flag. So I really just tried to kind of mix that. And then um, this ghost right here is from an older paper collection as well as this here. So yeah, I really think I did a pretty good job mixing the, um, the different collections. Okay, so now let me show you what this looks like on the inside. So, um, because I wasn't sure what I was going to put inside of it, I wanted my straw to go all the way down to the bottom of the box. So if you were looking through the windows, you would actually see the pole of the carousel. So that's the part that, you know, allows the carousel to spin. So that's kind of why I left it long. You don't have to do that. You could certainly cut it shorter, um, but you can kind of see down inside where I just kind of put a little hot glue to just keep it in place. Um, now these layering pieces here, you can layer the outside and the inside. So this layers inside as well. I just didn't really um, go to that extreme. I didn't feel it was necessary and uh, just like to try to conserve my paper. So, um, but yeah, this is the inside the box. You can see here like how, um, how roomy it is. Like look how much is in here. And um, when I did the acetate, I don't want to take this all the way out, but what I did was I actually um, put my box together, my sides. I glued my acetate right down to the front of this. And then I um, put my layering piece over the top. So it's nice and sandwiched in. You don't see a bunch of glue on the inside. Uh, so yeah, that's just a little tip, a little way to um, do sorry, do those without having like a mess on the inside. So if I can, I like to try to keep it as clean as possible. So, um, but yeah, anyway, that's the box, you guys. I think this would be really fun to um, uh, put like some little maybe scenes like on the inside. Uh, I might do that with a Christmas, make a Christmas version and do some little Christmas scenes or something. Um, but yeah, really, really cute. And then here's the... Um, Kind of the top, 
but isn't that cute with like the witch's broom kind of laying across the roof i just think that there's just so many fun things to look at and then this is just kind of just what it looks like all the way around. But um, yeah, you could really, really embellish the top of this as much as you want. Uh, same with the sides, really. I mean, just what a fun little gift box. So Erica, if you're watching, I absolutely love this die set. Um, I can't wait to make more. Like I said, you guys, this is just kind of an all year round project. Um, because you can do it very summery, um, because you know, there's so many fairs and carnivals going on during the summer. Um, but you can do it, um, you know, like I did, uh, Halloween, Christmas, Valentine's is going to be pretty, whoops. So yeah, you guys, I think this is one that we're going to see a lot of people making a lot of just really, really unique, um, fun things. Sorry, I'm having trouble putting the lid on because I made my my top a little too tight. So just bear with me for a second. That was my fault. So I suggest when you're putting it together is go ahead and get your top put together or your bottom put together. And then um, what I would do is as you're gluing, glue all your pieces of your top together. And then right before you do the very last one, sit it on the actual box before you kind of close that last piece. Um, just so it's not so tight because like I said, mine's, mine's pretty tight. But anyway, that's it guys. Thanks so much for watching and uh, definitely check out the new release from Erica. There's a lot of fun stuff. All right. Thanks guys for watching and we'll see you on the next video. Bye.